find the absolute extrema of this function here, x cubed minus 12x, on the closed interval 0, 6, so a solution. The first step is to find the critical numbers. So find the critical numbers. So we'll call them CNs. That's the first step. So you start by taking the derivative, so f prime of x. Uh, let's see, so here you have x cubed. So when you take that derivative, you'll just get 3x squared. And then here you have minus 12x. So when you take that derivative, you'll just get minus 12. Uh, keep in mind, critical numbers are numbers in the domain of the function where the derivative is undefined or 0. So in this case, the derivative is never undefined. So we only care about where it's 0. So you set this equal to 0. To solve this equation, we'll add 12 to both sides. So you end up with 3x squared equals 12. So dividing by 3, we end up with, let's see here, x squared equals, so 12 over 3 is 4. Now x is being squared, to, so to solve for x, we take the square root of both sides, and we get x equals plus or minus 2. But which one don't we care about? We don't care about the minus 2. So note, negative 2 is not in the interval. So the only critical number we care about is 2. Okay, the second step is to go back to the original function. So I'm going to write the original function down again. So we had f of x equals x cubed minus 12x. And we are going to plug in three numbers. So we're going to plug in 0, 6, and 2. The biggest y value we get is the maximum. The smallest y value we get is the minimum. So let's do it one at a time. So f of 0. That'll just be 0 cubed, which is 0 minus 12 times 0. So that's 0. So we get 0. f of 6. That'll be 6 cubed. Well, what is 6 cubed? 6 cubed is 36 times 6. So that's, that's 216. 216. So 216 minus 12 times 6. So that's 216 minus 72. So that's 144. So f of 6 is 144. And the last one to plug in is 2. So 2. You don't have to do them in order. You can do them in any order you want. So 2 cubed is 8 minus 12 times 2, which is 24. So 8 minus 24 is negative 16. So let's see. Let's finish. Uh, this is the smallest one. So this here is your absolute minimum. And the biggest one, well, 144 is bigger than 0. So this here is your absolute maximum. And that's it.